Ruckus in Lok Sabha today over the issue of electricity amendment bill linked to farmers subsidy. The electricity amendment bill was introduced in Lok Sabha today. Several opposition leaders raised the issue that the electricity amendment bill would only be implemented after consultation with stakeholders. Union power minister defended the move in parliament saying that there was no question of withdrawing subsidy for farmers and in fact the center is uh, in strength the, they have the numbers and therefore they would like to go ahead कानूनी परिधि से बात कीजिए आप आइए आवश्यक ही बोला जाए ताकि जो फॉल्स प्रोपगंडा कर रहे हैं या तो जानबूझ के फॉल्स पर अध्यक्ष मैं मैं बोल रहा हूँ मैं बोल रहा हूँ आप जब ये बोले तो मैं सुने ये जो फॉल्स प्रोपगंडा कर रहा है इसका मैं प्रतिकार करूँ how do you look at what happened inside the Lok Sabha today? Opposition is saying that subsidies for farmers are going to end. What exactly is the situation on that? The, 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 that is false. That is false. There is no provision in this bill uh, which stops any subsidy whatsoever. All the subsidized categories will keep getting whatever subsidies they are uh, getting. If, they, if any state government wants to give more subsidies, they are welcome to do it. There is no provision at all in this uh, amendment bill which militates against grant of any subsidy. We are in fact strengthening the provision of cross subsidy in order to help the poorer consumers. But so would you say so, so basic, yeah. so basically you see they are just playing politics. I have just you know one interpretation of this. Either people have not read the draft amendment or if they have read it they have not understood it or if they have read it and understood it then they are deliberately trying to mislead the people. They should not do that. Right. So we saw the ruckus when you tried to introduce the bill uh, into the house. They are just playing politics. It is now going to go to a standing committee. No, no. In fact, then there is no, it's not their demand. In fact, I had said as a process of consultation, we had consulted every state, we consulted all the stakeholders. Now, thereafter, I also said that let this, you know, I had given notice of my intention to move that this bill be referred to the standing committee before I stood up to introduce the bill. So I said that, you know, I have already given notice of my intention to move that this be referred to the standing committee. It will go to the standing committee. They, or, they knew that. Despite that, it's just playing politics. Uh, what is your stand on this? Project? I want to ask them a simple question that when the farm laws came in, this government tom tommed and insisted that they were very good for the country. After killing 800 farmers, they were forced to take the bill back. When they were told, when they told the farmers to go back home, a written assurance was given by the government. Whether it was for the MSP committee, they have backed out on that. Number four clearly states that it will, electricity amendment bill will only be introduced in parliament after consultation with the farmers and their stakeholders. I demand to know that which stakeholders have been consulted because the fact of the matter is for eight months neither has the government been consulted nor have the stakeholders been consulted and they have gone back on a written commitment forget about verbal commitments as government doesn't even stand by the written commitment and the minister misleads the house that no commitment was made do they work in silos do they not know what the agriculture ministry is committed to so i'm very shocked at the performance of how this government is working where one ministry makes a commitment the people believe their commitments and today the other ministry says no such commitment when i'm wanting to show it i'm not being allowed to raise it in the house i'm being told to keep quiet and sit down